power on and power off. Hold down the power button for three seconds to power on. And if you want to power it off, same steps. Hold down the power button to power it off. How to use the setting mode? Firstly, hold down the power button. Then, firstly, we check the, the timing mode, the delay. There, there are three choices. Instant, random, and fixed. For the red, random, there are three to five seconds, and uh, every time is different. For the fixed one, you need to, you can set the time, like uh, two seconds, five seconds, and the, the maximum time is for 10 seconds here. And if you want to, want to choose the fixed, just uh, choose it first, and then long press the start button. You see this icon here, it means chosen. Then you go back to the home page. You will see. How to set the power mode? Long press the power button. We go to the power option. Long press. And then we can set the time and the cycle here. Like time, we can set it as, uh, at three seconds. And back to set the cycles. Cycles like for, for four cycles. Then we go back to the home page. There is a shortcut key here, the, the plus button. Long press the plus button to, to start the power mode. See here, here's the power option, and then we can try it. This is mainly used for dry fire shooting training. If you want to exit the, the power mode, just long press the plus button. Then it will be deselected. Long press the lock button. We, we can adjust the, the speaker sound, speaker volume, and also, also the sensitivities. Like this is the sensitivity. The default setting is level 6. And for the sound, press the speaker button. The, the first class sound volume is for like a personal personal shooting training because it's its volume is small then we can press the power button to back long press this speaker button we can check the history history scores and this this number num, this number three or or number one number two means a string of shots and we can we can press the power button to check this string and every shots. I press the start button to to check which which string of shots you want to check. And if you want to exit exit the checking history scores, you can long press the speaker button. And you can choose delete the info or not delete. Then go back to the home page. This timer also has a countdown function. Here we long press the minus button to start the countdown function. The timer will will beep when the countdown time is over. Here we can stop. If you want to stop, we can stop here. And we can, if you want to set a certain time length, you can go to the setting mode to set the mode here. Long press it and find the countdown, long press it to set. If we, we want to set as 90 seconds, here we can set one minute first, then we go to the seconds to set it as 30 seconds. Then we go back to the home page and then long press the minus button to start. How to set the eco mode and the language? Long press the power button, go to the systems option then we choose the language. There are two languages for, for choice, English and Chinese. And long press the language you need. You will choose, choose successfully. Then go back to this page. 
the eco mode. In this mode, you can set the timer to power off automatically after a certain time. We can customize like uh, 10 minutes. If nobody uses it for 10 minutes, the, the timer will power off automatically to save, to save battery. This is a Bluetooth short timer, so it can use with practice go app. And please make sure the timer has this Bluetooth icon here. There is a switch in the setting mode, in the setting page. You, will, you can turn on and turn off the, the Bluetooth function here. Make sure it's on. And this, this, this code is the Bluetooth code F6112. Every timer has a unique code. Okay, this is the practice go app. Make sure it is the latest version in your, in your mobile phone. Firstly, we choose enter. Firstly, make sure you have the shooter information here. And also, you have the stage information. And then we choose enter score. Uh, first, let me make sure the timer with Bluetooth function. And we choose enter score. And choose a stage. Stage 2. And uh, here comes to the shooter. There is uh, three dots. Touch the three dots. And uh, choose the timer. Here. This is our the timer in my hand. Choose here. Okay. Then we choose this shooter. Here. There, we, there are two ways to start the timer. Firstly, there is a clock here. You can choose long touch this icon. Then choose the start timer. And then the timer's score will, will, will show on the app. Okay. Then stop timing. 